All right, Jack. First things first, the Explorer. What'd you say about it on the demo on the demo drive? I like it a lot. Right equipment. It's got the right equipment. Right color. I can work with the color. Um, good. Listen, and the reason I ask is there's no such thing as a good deal on the wrong vehicle. Okay. So I want to make sure the vehicle's right, and I, I want you to remember a couple things too. Um, you got a 3636 comprehensive warranty coming with this vehicle. You're not going to pay for an automobile repair for the foreseeable future. 560 on the powertrain. You got roadside assistance. You got Sirius radio. Okay. However, we do have to pay for it, correct? Here are the options we put together for you. Um, both purchase and I told you about the alternative purchase earlier, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the purchase that you're used to, um, I've got four columns down here, down payment. The more money you put down, the fewer finance charges you pay, the quicker you pay it off, the lower your monthly payment, and the quicker you can trade it. All right, when it comes to term, I've got 48, 60, and 72. Um, at 48 months, your payment's gonna be high. Okay, but you're also going to save the most money. At 72 months, the payment's going to be much lower. It's also more flexible because you can still save money by paying it off earlier. You just do it in your own time frame. There is no prepayment penalty. And at 48 months, it's sort of the best of both worlds. Um, we'll get to this in just a second. Let's first of all decide which one of these down payments is going to work best for you. I'd like to put down 3500 Okay. That means we don't need to worry about any of these payments here. So, um, when it comes to term, 4860 or 72, when it comes to purchase, which would you prefer? Well, I'd prefer the shortest term, but payment-wise, uh, it looks like I can't go much higher than the 72-month option. Okay, so you're at 854. So, that would be one option. Your second option would be leasing it for 864. For 36 months. Now, why in the world would you pay more to lease a vehicle than you would to purchase it? I don't know. It'd be, it sounds sort of crazy, doesn't it? Well, it's not completely crazy, okay? 864 versus 854. I'm going to ask you to pay $10 a month if you chose to lease it. $10 more. What do you get for that? Well, let's just look at the one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, and six year life of that vehicle. All right. If you paid eight sixty four a month, three years from today, that's what you'd owe on the vehicle. You have a phone on you? I do. Multiply thirty six times eight fifty four. Eight fifty four. Eight fifty four. 30,744. All right, so let's, 744? Yes. So let's just fast forward to three years from this very moment, okay? In one scenario, if you chose the alternative financing, you wouldn't owe a single penny on that vehicle. Your obligation would be completely over, and what you have in front of you would be some really cool options, and I'll get to those in just a second. But if you choose to buy it, well, you'd still owe $30,744. Um, which position would you rather be in? Owing nothing or owing $30,744? I'd rather owe nothing. Okay, but then you'd be walking, right? Because <laughs> you wouldn't have a vehicle. All right. Well, not necessarily. You've got a number of options here. You don't owe anybody anything. You are free as a bird. Option number one, toss me the keys. Just come in, say, Steve, it was a blast. I'm going to go look at a Chevy Tahoe next. And I'll, I'll, believe me, I'll fight you on it. I'll try to keep you, but you're free. You can go do whatever you want to. Number two, you say, Steve, love that Explorer. Let's check out the 2026 Explorer. Okay, and I'll say, come on, let's have a good time. Three, you come in and you say, hey, Steve, I've been looking at the market, and uh, this vehicle's worth significantly more than my residual or my guaranteed future value. So um, what are my options? And I'd say, well, you've got a couple different options here. Um, Jack, number one, 
we'll give you the difference between what it's worth and what you uh, what the guaranteed future value is, and you can put that towards the 2026. All right, so that's going to reduce your payment on the next one. Number two, I'll say, well, just buy it from us, sell it, and uh, pocket the cash. Do whatever you want with it. Okay, and number, and by the way, there's a fifth one too. I forgot about this. You could, if it turns out to be the best vehicle you've ever driven in your entire life, you can just buy it for the dollar amount under market and take off and you're perfectly happy. And let's say, number six, let's say in 2026, the 2026, uh, or let's say three years from now, the new explorers are about to change body style and they're not here quite yet. They're three months away. You can always extend the lease. So, here you owe $30,744. Here you owe nothing and you've got all these options. Which way works better for you, Jack? I like the options. Okay. That was great. You like that? I like that too. I just made it all up. Man, I just made it up. <laughs> um, you, first of all, you threw me a curveball because you picked a lease payment that was higher than the purchase payment. Yeah, you recovered nicely. Yeah, yeah I, I expected you to pick 60 months. <laughs> I should, should have set this up better. Um, because <laughs> if, if the customer chooses 60, normally the lease payment's going to be a little bit lower. Okay? The last, uh, last class it was $93 a month lower. So what I said was at the end of three years, uh, you owe this amount if you're buying it. And if you're leasing it, you've got this much more cash because you've saved $93 a month for 36 months, so it's $3,348. Or $3, Where would you rather be? Customer goes, well, gee, I'd rather have the money in my pocket. And then, don't, I mean, don't they have a ton of options at the end of the, ter at the, end of the term? They truly do. The more, I, the more I get into this, the more I like leasing, the more I